Akitwala team giving us 16 stocks to buy in our special show mid-cap multi-baggers. Uh, Nigel now joins in with uh, some of the key highlights and uh, how some of the stocks have done today. Nigel? Well, let's start off with the biggest uh, mover then. Orient Papers, that's sitting with a gain of more than 10% uh, as we speak. That was Prakash Thivan's uh, pick. He has a two-year time horizon and a target price of close to around uh, to, uh, 150 or thereabouts. He says that it's not only the largest uh, maker of fans, he's also viewing the positive coming in from the paper segment business and uh, they've moved into tissues, so that's even more margin accretive. He says in the last quarter they did close to around 2 rupees 30 paise. So if you just uh, extrapolate that, for this year, they could do an EPS of close to around 10 rupees. So then, in fact, the stock, even as we speak, it's trading at only around six times. Moving to the next stock, then it's already been a big mover. That's pre-call. It's up. It's close to have doubled, I think, uh, in the last uh, six months or uh, thereabouts. But Prakash believes that it can give you even more returns. He has a target price of close to around 200 in, in the next uh, couple of years. He says that the company has turned profitable post restructuring. And also, he says that, in fact, uh, they're supplying meters to all the leading auto names. So that's a kicker for the stock. He's viewing it that they can do a revenue growth of around 20 to around 25 percent in the coming years as well. Another big mover today is solar industries. It's rather explosive because that's what they really deal with. Uh, the stock is up close to around 9 to around 10 percent. Divena joined us and he said that they're targeting 30 percent upside in the next uh, one year or so. And we had the management on the channel earlier today. They said that out of uh, Coal India's total uh, explosive uh, requirement, that's they require explosives uh, to go deeper into uh, mines. Uh, they produce close to around 20 percent of that. They also have a defense portfolio. Now, this year they're expecting to do around 80 crores going ahead. They're expecting to double that. And in fact, they're confident of revenue growth of around 25 to around 30 percent or thereabouts. So on that note, but let's listen in to the uh, solar industries uh, management and then we come back for more. The orders are flowing in and uh, from September uh, this year we'll be starting our supplies to defense. And we are hopeful that, uh, you know, anywhere between uh, 75 to 80 crores is what revenue we are targeting from defense for the year. Every year it should uh, means double, like from 80 to 160 and then uh, 320 like that. We are expecting a growth of almost 20-25% uh, year on year, minimum, uh, based on uh, the present uh, demand situation in the country. Well, let's turn our attention to the chemical space then. And Prakash's other pick was Thiru Mulai uh, Chemicals. In fact, he's targeting close to around 500 rupees in the next uh, two years. Remember, their products are used for uh, detergents, for food ingredients, uh, as well, paintings, coatings, etc. Now, Prakash's um, fundamental logic is that in FY16, they did an EPS of close to around 42 rupees. He's saying that come FY17, it can even do 60 rupees. In fact, we had the management who joined us just a couple of hours back. And they said that they're deep, deep bottlenecking uh, their business from the commodity cycle. And also they're expecting to grow at more than 25% for the next couple of years. So let's hear them out as well. You know, food ingredients and fine chemicals, uh, we just completed this month 30% uh, capacity enhancement. And that's a good high value business that we aim to grow further in the future because it's both exports originally and the last few years India facing. So we expect, uh, as I said, about 25 to 30 percent already uh, starting from the rest of this year in our food ingredients and fine chemicals and about 30 percent within a year, year and a half in our commodity chemicals in India. And finally, our very own uh, Mr. Dulcian had given us uh, Bodal Chemicals. In fact, that stock as well is up close to around 5% as we speak. Uh, Mr. Dulcian has given a target price of close to around 120 rupees. He says that uh, we have seen a sharp increase in margins and quarter one as well is likely to be far better. He's saying that, in fact, they can do a pat of close to around 42 crores. Now, that's going to be a sharp increase from around that 20 to 22 crores that they've done on a sequential basis as well as on a year in year basis. So going to be a big jump in profitability. Their mix is something that he's uh, quite happy with. And he says also better realizations are likely to come about. China has now turned a net importer. So that bodes well uh, for uh, India and uh, chemical makers. And also the expansions are on the cards and all the required uh, permissions as well are in. So those are all the five top stocks that are buzzing today. What a treat. Back to you Oh Yes, it is. And I just want to remind our viewers that these are multi-bagger ideas. They are not for the trading day. Although these stocks have risen today, most of our experts have indicated that these ideas will fructify over the next couple of years. But look at the way the market